Hi friends, I'm Chelsea and this is my husband Curtis. In this video, we're going over our top six locations to visit in Phoenix. Not only are these places unique and uber gorgeous, but... <laughs> They're like uber gorgeous. <laughs> uber gorgeous. Oh my god. And four out of six of them was free, so that is a total perk all in itself right there. But also, all of them are gonna make for awesome Instagram photos because pics are didn't happen, right? All of my self-respect is just out the window. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, Chelsea and I make videos on traveling and how to afford it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Our first location is the Seguero Hotel, located in Old Town Scottsdale. This hotel is full of little interesting pockets that are full of colors and unique decor. The whole place kind of felt like a pop art museum. There was crazy works of art, so much color. Every time you turned around, it was almost like you were in a new building. Location number Number two is also in Old Town Scottsdale called the Sugar Bowl. This is a cute little 50 style diner that serves ice cream, milkshake, colorful sherbet, and so much more. And if you like pink, this is definitely the place to be. Or if you're like us and like ice cream, you can go. Go right now. You gotta go. Stop watching. Go in right now. <laughs> Third on the list is the old Adobe Mission. This is also located in Old Town Scottsdale, which means you can cross off our list in like less than half an hour. So how awesome is that? Like, just imagine what your feet is gonna look like within like an hour. It's gonna be like so gorge. Like you put this white church in the foreground of the blue Arizona skies and it looks amazing. If you have a goth wife like I do and you put her black clothing in front of this white church, it really pops and looks fantastic. <laughs> Location number four is the Goldfield Ghost Town. You can take a step back into the west and see the old saloon architecture, watch some gunslinging, and of course fill up your feed with rustic photos. So our next location was Butterfly Wonderland, which was probably our favorite stop on the whole trip. We could have spent all day there. We actually did pretty much spend all day there. Where else in the middle of the desert can you walk into a rainforest and have butterflies surround you and land on you? And like, don't forget about like the amazing selfies you can get with like the really even lighting. <laughs> what is wrong with you? No, but seriously, they do like breed butterflies and rehabilitate them and send them out and they protect butterfly populations, which is super important. Last on our list is the Desert Botanical Gardens. I'm not gonna lie, we got a little excited and caught up here and we kind of forgot to take video of the place. Trust us, this place is gorgeous. All of the amazing desert plants you can think of, cactuses and flowers. It was an amazing place to watch sunset and in the evening they even lit the plants up. Again, I'm sorry that <laughs> we got too excited and we didn't take any footage of the place, but if you wanna see some of the awesome photos that you can get in the botanical gardens, check out our Instagram page, shameless. Plug. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any suggestions on places that we should visit in Phoenix, please leave them in the comments below. And if you thought this video is helpful, hit the like button. You may as well hit the subscribe button since you're at it so you can see more videos and we'll see you on the next one.